briefly yeah. and that kind of stuff. Because I watched so. um, an interview with uh, Hugh Jackman and the director, I forget his name, but they said it's more focused around him as a character as opposed mm. to, oh, I can't remember my past. Or yes, exactly. All that sort of stuff. It's more about him and his rage. And that's why they said everyone's yes. scared of Wolverine. And, they, def- and they definitely should ignore Wolverine, 100%. Mm. The fact that Wolverine contradicted his own stuff. Yeah. Like, um, X-Men 2, you find out that sort of he loses his memory by becoming Wolverine. Yeah. In mm. Origins, he's Wolverine, but he gets shot in the head by an adamantium bullet. Mm. And that's why he loses. Why? There's loads of stuff like that, though, isn't there? Like, strike is stuff in that yeah. film. Yeah, well, Strike is... Striker, yeah. yeah. Same with First Class, that contradicts a lot of stuff. Yeah. Mm. Strike is a, you know, a little boy at home at that point, when yeah. Charles is young, yeah, at the end of Origins, Charles is old. Yeah, exactly, and, and, and he's bald and walking, oh, yeah. Mm. That, that, it's always best to ignore. It's, yeah, yeah, I like to think of First Class as the same thing. Yeah, that's, mm. I looked at that Although as Although Future Pass may bring it back. I looked at that just like I have with Spider-Man and they're just rebooting the whole lot. Mm. Except for X-Men, as you say, in the film universe, kind of taken away. I'm mm. so Coming sad to see thing. Matthew Vaughan go. For he's, still produ- he's still producing, though. It's not the same, though, no. is it? Mm. I miss And him. Brian Singer's back. I know you don't like, <laughs> I don't mm. like X-Men Brian one and, X-Men 1 and 2. Brian Singer's back. Brian Singer respects X-Men, the material. X-Men 1? X-Men 2? Was X-Men 2 is like one of the best comic movies ever. X-Men 1 was terrible. Oh, right. Yeah. Toad was in it. <laughs> yeah. Toad! It was, it was also like... George, Toad was in it. It was also <laughs> the 90s. It was 2000! Which is still... Can you agree with this? The 90s ended in like 2001. Yeah, no, it ended any, in 1999. Any, 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 any movie you see, any movie or TV <laughs> show you see that is made in 2000 is nearly indistinguishable from one made in the 90s. Do you know what years are? I, pres- <laughs> <laughs> I don't care for time, man. They come around I'm, I'm every not held 365, down. 66 days sort of thing. And they can't make up your mind, huh? 365, 366. Yeah. That's Theory, all these theory's getting a bit films, loose there. They're just all... <laughs> And creepy. My, yeah, You're that's wearing my, leather. My biggest... Everything's leather in them. But the thing I hated most about it is the fact they killed off all the main characters. Mm. They focus. Cyclops, Cyclops. Oh, oh, Cyclops. oh, oh my god. god. Yes, <laughs> I thought the first three films. That's X. Well, that's X three. Let's be fair. Yeah, yeah but that's basically yeah. how big a part did he have in the first two? The second film, they yeah. got rid of him. He the was, whole he thing was by the making worst handled yeah. character in yeah. the whole. Like, he's the only one who's been in it since day one. Yeah, like, except for the part of the whole Cyclops is missing saga they had in the comics at one point. But yeah. It's just, it was stupid, I thought, because I, they should have called it Wolverine and the X-Men. Yes. That's what they should have yeah. called it, because that's yeah, all that. it was. It was him, and all that. I met some friends along the way. Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> I, um... Okay, then move along a bit further forward. Yes. Fantastic Four. Yeah, yeah, oh. you know, blunders there. I loved that film. <laughs> Did the, you? The really? Sec- the second no. film was dirt. Oh, okay. But the first the, film that is, a, is a little secret. I like bits. Of, I, like, I actually like bits of the second one. With Silver Surfer. <laughs> what? They ruined Silver yeah, Surfer? The only, the only good bit my power when, comes from my board. Mm. Like, the only oh good bit God. was when Johnny Storm was chasing him. That was the coolest bit when you were like, just after the wedding. And he what jumps was that? Off. Galactus? Um, a cloud. Galactus is in the cloud. You can see a, sh- a shadow of face. I think I wanted, I wanted to yeah, see his you, face. Yeah, you can. Yeah, but at the time it was made sort of stuff. It was getting, it was getting <sighs> sort of insulted and criticised for being too sort of like poppy and sort of colourful and that kind of stuff. Oh Having God. a giant man in a purple suit would not have done That's any why, well. That's why I was about to say, I think like, that was their and it, and attempt and to make it, it realistic, like the X-Men and, of all and the it's a, And it's a science fiction thing, which mm. works with... Um, so I, I think if a big dude just went so like exactly, that, not, exactly. I eat the planet. They would have think, you know, well, yeah. why didn't he just whack the planet? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Doctor Doom in that, like, just as yeah. well, yeah. just like, oh, I'm very evil, yeah. but I'm also very charming. Yes. And, <laughs> and oh, yeah. you hate me, but you also kind of like me. I just, yeah. like, Although I he, know. was he Julian something? I love him as an actor. Was he in Nip and Tuck? Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, he's like the main dude in it. He was, 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 was also in Charmed, not that I ever watched that at all. Charmed. Charmed. Hey, what? I had a lot of time yeah, on my head. Was it <laughs> You're right. He was. Wait, he was a demon. Oh, sorry. He was a demon. Sorry. He was the guy who looked like Darth Maul. He was, can, the, one, he was the one can the we, one kept going out. Can we, can we pause? <laughs> it's all coming out. <laughs> can we... Can can I, I, we've all just discovered no, that, no, like... Can I pause this Three quarters of us, like, watch Joe. Uh, just say. Just say. <laughs> Joe, Joe here. Was his name Salazar? He was oh, Salazar. Bow the fuck! <laughs> Jesus! Can I? Can I this out? Joe, you watch Charmed, yet you have a problem with watching Buffy. I love Buffy! Uh, oh, it's, it's Joss Whedon! Whedon. Like it's Joss Whedon! That religiously. Buffy, right. Buffy is epic. Right, we'll, we'll, we'll get there in a bit, we'll get there in a bit. Right. Then Disney took over. Everyone was a bit well, Disney, like... Well, Disney took over... Um, didn't they, eight, they, seven, they eight. Did, I thought they took it over um, just before Captain America. Yeah. Before. I thought it was that no. late. It was that no, late. No, it wasn't. Because no, the, sure first, it was the first Disney Thor. Marvel film... Oh, was it before Thor? I saw a Disney logo on Thor. I'm okay. sure the first Marvel I film think. was just... Um, no, no. Incredible Hulk. Huh? And Iron Man... F- and Iron Man. 
Iron Mum's first, obviously. Yeah, which came but, in 2009. Yeah, but that, they weren't owned by Disney then. It was still Marvel's just normal in-house um, production company. I think it was probably uh, right. It was like around about Thor when they. I, bought I, I might be wrong. I just remember seeing a logo on. No, Thor. it probably was Thor because Joss Whedon says he started Thor, writing right? Avengers when Thor, because um, Joss Whedon directed the post-credit sequence of Thor. Mm. Mm. So it was probably around about mm. Thor. Whatever it is, it's a good thing that Disney like took over Marvel. Yes, yeah, yeah. Because they yes. definitely had the old Avengers thing planned since Iron Man one. Yes, so definitely. Only after well, the credits, definitely, seven definitely, definitely. Yeah, yes, yeah. Hundred percent. It was it nine films he signed. Yeah, nine, yes. nine films. Film deal. What, what's yeah. he done now? Apparently he's got his own Man. one. I saw it. I, every now and then I'm check out uh, Stanley's IMDb. Right. And it says like, like it's constantly switching around. But there's yeah. always rumoured there's going to be a Nick Fury film. Yeah, like a film well, about Shield. It, he's going to want one. I mean, yeah. No, no, no. yeah. Oh, I've always wanted Speaking of Shield. TV, TV show. series. Yeah, just yeah. Wizards TV show. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, they're actually doing one. Yep. Yeah. Yes. And, and for Marvel, guys. Just, uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm Phil Coulson's back. Someone doesn't read the website. Phil Coulson's back as well. Yeah, I know. I don't know what to say with that. Is Nick Fury a super soldier? Uh, no, he, does, no, he doesn't he's age, does he? the infinite serum or yeah, infinite, infinity like serum yeah, or something yeah, like yeah. that. But it's so not super, age. but it's not. Oh, it's got a name, isn't it? Like a cool name, the infinity. Because I, at uh, first I thought Nick Fury was like a James Bond sort of title. Oh, they yeah. just give it to the next yeah. one that takes over. Oh, that's cool. But yeah. um, he said something about, I think, just so they can keep him as a character. Because yeah. he was around when Captain America was first around. Yes, yeah. yeah. They thought they were Yeah. I thought they was going to do that in the first Avengers film. I think that's why they always call him an old war horse. Because he's like... No, he just yeah. loves the he just loves to play. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, like, he just loves Broadway. <laughs> yeah. So there was eye patch. I'm missing <laughs> half of it. <laughs> I'm sure that part of the stage is fantastic. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the extra stage left? I don't know. <laughs> 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 That's a weird, like, tasteless joke. <laughs> <laughs> you can see some person now with an eye patch listening to this going, unsubscribe. <laughs> yeah, but um, just a slow tear moves down one eye. Yeah. <laughs> like, that, is my, that is my life. I can never again enjoy theatre. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I apologise to any one eyed people listening. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? <laughs> 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 He does that angry thing where he shoots out the wall after hearing it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so they just they did get better. Marvel Cinematic they? Universe, brilliant, absolutely. Yeah, Paul like, flawless. Lots in tire, pulled in I mean, a more mainstream audience. It was yeah, such a courage, it was such a yeah. courageous thing to do. And the um, whole sort of continuity. Do you know what I think I'm most excited about more than oh. anything about Phase Two? Yeah. That uh, Mark Ruffalo signed for six films. Yes. yes. Oh yeah. I am yes. so excited. For he that. was a fantastic. He was. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. Was really, I was really worried because I thought he does not look like a banner. Like no, he doesn't yeah. does he? But he's, he, he's made his own, I think. He did, definitely. Oh, yeah. I mean, I liked I Edward him. Norton. He was alright. I like Edward Norton. I love him. I love Edward Norton. I love Edward Norton, Norton but I, I think didn't he's, like that film. He's one of those whispery actors, and they put him with Liv Tyler, and that's it. The whole oh. film, I was like, what? It's weird that they replaced like the film. three main characters in that. Yeah. <laughs> Thunderbolt Ross, Betty... And yeah, Bruce. Yeah. Yeah. Brucey. Oh, Brucey. Bruce, Brucey. Yeah, but I think it's. I mean, doing that with films is. Plus, it's set them up for a long time now. But I think yeah. Yeah. that'd be stupid not to make a TV series, either X Men or they keep saying Avengers. But I think the, if they the X Men franchise is a film, there are just too many yeah. characters. There's been films. Um, well, obviously Shield may have some sort of crossover yeah. stuff with that. But there's talk. There's been talk for a while of a Hulk TV show. Right. Like, like, like yeah. they did before, they did before, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. but like a proper sort of what, one. But not a uh, what's his name? <laughs> yeah, like Bill, Bill Bixby, isn't it? Oh, uh, no, who's that? No, who? Oh. oh, what's his name? The guy who plays the Hulk in it. Yeah, yeah. Lisp. What's his name? Big muscly guy. Uh, is it? Is it Bill Bixby? No, no, no. Oh. no. I know his name when I hear it. Lou yeah. Ferrigno. Lou, Lou Ferrigno. <laughs> <laughs> he still voices Hulk. Yes, yes, Jules, yes he does. Yeah, <laughs> which is awesome. Um, yeah, but it was going to be a TV show by um, Guillermo del Toro. Really? Guillermo del Toro. I love him. Yeah, which is awesome. He's going to be doing Frankenstein film as well, which I'm very excited about. Do you believe <laughs> that the Amazing Spider-Man is going to tie on with Avengers? I um, well, well, there's been there, there was rumours of Kevin the Fiagi Oscorp building Ke being yeah, inside it. Kevin yeah. Fiagi is that even out it? Yeah, it is. Oh, I, I heard someone say. Right, I, was, I, I almost said Feige. Yeah, the I, I heard Fiege. someone say Fiagi. Yeah. So I presume that's Feige. <laughs> I don't know. I had a stroke. <laughs> but um, yeah, he he wants to do Civil War. For like, oh, yeah. you're saying oh, like, hopefully so Avengers, yeah. Avengers three or something. Yeah, probably. Well, I can see that though. There's already elements of Captain mm. America versus Iron Man. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. I, yeah. I love that. There's people yeah. in the suit. And I think that's, 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 that's why. I think that's why they're thinking of putting like reboot. I've heard reboots of a Fantastic Four might be happening. Yes, it is. It's happening now for 2015. I think they're just doing it for the sole reason, so they can bring these characters in. I want Fantastic Four to be set in the 60s, like first class time. Oh, I think because no, when Fantastic Four first came out, they were the first family, weren't they? 
was just sort of, yeah. sort of a thing like uh, they go into space. It's totally yeah. new. Yeah, because it's very Whereas sort of now, time stuff. Oh, that's, should we send someone else in space? This is yeah, NASA. yeah. That's that's what I presume they're like, yeah, let's send someone else. It was else like space. a Spider Man I read it the other day, and he's uh, he's working for this like a centre where they're like really like intelligent scientist yeah. type people, and they're watching the space shuttle, and it's going wrong. And he knows, oh, that's Doctor Oct- that's Doctor Octopus. So he quickly grabs Johnny Storm, shoots into space, and while they're still dealing with the pla- the, like, the panic and what's happening, he's already got into space and met <laughs> them. And it's just like, so what? You can literally just hop in a car and yeah. Up. <laughs> <laughs> but yet yeah, NASA's still like, we're sending a man to the moon. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't remember it is or not. I think I mean, like, if it's set in the sixties, they've got this nice sort mm. of like it's the first, you know, they're the yeah. family. Like, I don't, I don't think, I don't space, think they will do. Then that. they can tie you into the first. I don't class think, universe. I don't think they'll need to. I mean, first class. Well, first class. Um, it, because it was a prequel, they would put it in there because they couldn't continue after Last Stand, so they had to do it in like the beginning of Charles and that kind of stuff. But I don't know if they'll do that in Fantastic Four. I don't think they'll feel compelled I, to. I, I, no, I don't. I mean, I, they won't. I know no, they I mean, won't. I, but but the guy, like I'm very excited about the guy who's doing it because it's, doing it? doing it's Josh Trank who did Chronicle. Oh, I yeah. love that film. And the main actor from Chronicles. Um, oh, he's been Harry Osborn now. Harry Osborn. Yes, he yeah. is. Which is also good. But um, where were we? Always talking about yeah, Mark Ruffalo. Six yes. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that's right. In Civil War. I was thinking yeah. for that Hulk arc that Joss Whedon wants to do. Mm. Um, I'm gonna say it's because I'm a fanboy. Planet Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> then a World War Hulk would be another Avengers film. I've read a bit of World War Hulk, and I'm assuming that's when he comes back. That's when he comes back. And I'm his, assuming uh, he takes it, his friends it, with him. They're called Warbound. They're yeah, Warbound, Warbound now, aren't they? So yeah. they're all sort of. And out. if I wish I'd read you know, Planet Hulk first, because if I had, it probably would have made World War Hulk make a lot more sense. Did you read like, World War Hulk well, first? Yeah, well, luckily, <laughs> luckily, I don't remember much of it. I think there might have only been one or two comics that were like, uh, online, oh, right. so luckily I don't think I've read it all. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, now I'm really interested in reading that. But I think it would be cool if they did something like a Civil War. Mm. I think they should, if they did, I don't know if they can, but they should split it over, like, a do all, like, Lord of the Rings type thing, where they split it over three films. Ooh. Yeah. That would be cool if right. they did that. Did the whole of it starting, then, like, a middle fight scene bit. Yeah. Then, but then maybe just two films. Although I, I think there's only going to be three Avengers films. Yes, uh, you're like yes. These well, are trilogies now, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. I'm really I mean, excited because it's not just lots of like three Avengers films. You've got the films in between as well. Exactly. Which is the oh like, yeah, really yeah. Just yeah. Weighs it down. Yes. Yeah. Phase phase two. Yeah. Phase two. Yes. And then the phase three box set, which is going to yes. come out right then. It's, it's going like to be like massive. Like it's going to yeah. be. This big, which I'm doing with my hands right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's about. A Joe is half. gesturing with All his right. hands. <laughs> <laughs> One that thing really I awesome. was a little bit miffed about is, um, what's his name? Kevin? How do you pronounce his last name? Fiagi. Fiagi. Um, he was talking about the fact that um, soon, well, not soon, but at some point, Robert Downey Jr. is going to be too old to play. I was Iron thinking Man. that. Yeah. He looked rough yeah. as an Iron Man too, didn't he? Yeah. I mean, he's. And he, Avengers, to be fair. He, he's, he's, he's young enough to still do it, I think, because it's Robert Downey Jr. who can do whatever he likes. Um, but, to be fair, he looks old just for the fact he's killed his body 3,000 times. Yeah. But, um, and he said that they may just do a Bond thing and just recast it. Have someone else. I would, I would be disappointed. I would be. Yeah. He, uh, everyone would hate oh. him just out of principle. I mean, they? yeah. He, he, he would have to. How good he does it. Yeah. Everyone would just hate oh. him. I mean, it's, it's different for having, like, kicking out, like, Ed Norton and having Mark Ruffalo replace him. Or it's different for kicking out, like, um, Terence Howard and have um, Don Cheadle mm. replace him that. But if you do it with Robert Downey Jr., yeah, who, is, is, who is the star of Marvel's cinematic universe. I think he's, yeah. he's going to, rather than be recasted, I'd like to see it, him take up that um, consultant. Yes, I have. I want have yeah. a like, war machine do his stuff, or uh, not even just that. Say in Civil War, he doesn't necessarily have to go into battle. That's true. You know? That's he true. just has to be the dictator behind it. He just yeah. has to be the force behind it. You know? Dictator. I was no, Team no, Iron Man. Yeah. 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 I'm say, if they do that, they could do it in one of the Iron Man films and have him like sort of bow out gracefully. Where yeah. in the last yeah. Iron Man film, he hangs up his whole Iron Man stuff mm. or passes it on yeah. to somebody. So yeah. in one of the Iron Man films, he actually says like. Right, I'm done with all this, you know. Yeah. I think in one of the comics he actually does that at one point. He's like, I'm done with all this. Probably, yeah. So he, he could either have him pass the torch or say, yeah. I'm leaving. So when the films, the Avengers come out, it makes sense that he's not in it. It can be very easily done because uh, Tony Stark's very close to the media, the yeah. military, and all that. Yeah. It's all very public, so it can very yeah. easily be like I'm in a press conference so or Robert, like environment. Robert Downey Jr. as Tony Stark. Perfect. Like, oh. He's perfect, and that will be still interesting enough for him not to be Iron Man mm. to just be Tony Stark. And I love mm. the fact yeah. that they got him to play him. I mean, he's such perfect character. He, yeah. Essentially, he's playing himself, yeah. but it's so perfect, and yeah. it was such a risk to take him as well. The amount of times his career's died. Yeah. So it <laughs> no, has. And the, no. thing, the one thing that was happening when I saw the third trailer is he looks healthier. In Yes. And there's yeah. one there's one bit I think he's talking to Pepper at some point and he looks a lot healthier. You see him in Avengers mm. and Iron Man 2 
and he looks like he's like white. Well, I'm, when, when Iron Man two, he's slowly dying. dying. Yeah, he's poisoned, isn't he? Yeah. So yeah. Um, I, I suppose yeah. Iron Man three. <laughs> Ooh. Oh man, so excited! I'm excited for oh. Namor. Oh yeah? I'm just like Ben Kingsley is Mandarin. I mean, I don't know what's going on with his voice, but it sounds epic. <laughs> so right, right. Let, let, let's sum up. Yeah. The present Marvel universe in cinematic is perfect. Yes. Yep. The future, we're all excited for. Yes, 100%. The past is. Is is a mixed bag. Is there? Although it, I know, but I'm that sure was, that was needed to have what we have now. Yeah, I'm sure at yeah. one point I'll look back and it'll be an antique. So yeah. that way. it'll be worth yeah. something. One I mean, day. you know, the first, first <laughs> Spider-Man film sort of showed that you could have like this very sort of like um, color popping. It was just, comic it was just nice. Feel. It was just nice that they showed that like yeah. you know the, the, world, you, the world is ready for superhero yeah. films, and you can do something as opposed to Batman. No matter how bad they are, yes. <laughs> the world's ready for them. Yeah, and um, let's move over to DC now. Yes, definitely. Move over to DC. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to Joe's little bit there. First of all, let's talk about um, Batman, as in the movie, as in from the TV series. As in the sixties one. <laughs> yep. Awesome. That was classic. Wasn't that ingrained Batman in pop culture? It really did. That was the first ever. That was he Batman was film the, the world when in the sixties show the world exploded with Batman. It really did. Everyone knew <laughs> it was. <laughs> I'm sorry. All I can see is the power going. <laughs> <laughs> That, when, I've watched that shit, I think I've watched every episode of it, I've seen the yeah. film, and it's just like... When some... I, I, I don't like If it. someone I who doesn't like... It. If someone who doesn't know comic books, you tell them to, tell me about comic books, they'll say, Biff, Bap, Kapow. And that's from the 60s stuff, right? Hmm. Biff. And I, yeah, Biff. <laughs> and you know, because Biff, let's do Biff someone. It's a PG word, I've done. Leave it, leave it be. <laughs> no, no, it's like, that's my, that's Joe's nickname for me. <laughs> what? Why? I don't know. Why is it? Oh, we're just not getting to that. <laughs> But so it ingrained in it, and it was sort of like it really did. Unfortunately, you did give it that stigma of it being sort of a colourful thing until Tim Burton's Batman came around. But yeah, well, it's still, that's what, it's that's still like Tim Burton's Batman. Uh, again, the world was you couldn't go. E- As I understand it, when it first came out, you couldn't go anywhere without seeing Batman symbol. Yeah, like eight it was, nine. It's an iconic symbol. Yeah, it is. Yes. Like, and we're the, talking Tim Burton, as in all those weird, freaky Tim Burton films. Yeah, yeah. Tim Burton, as you, you in know the first, you know Jack Nicholson Joker. Oh, was that? Yes, That's Tim Burton. Burton. Oh, man. And Batman Returns with Danny DeVito as Penguin and Michelle Pfeiffer as Catwoman. Michelle Pfeiffer as mm. Catwoman, by the way, to put that out there. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Yes. And she still she still looks good though. That's the thing. Like she's still, <laughs> her, despite her age, she's like you're a classy lady. Well done. You know Matthew Vaughn's <laughs> Stardust. Stardust. Yes. I love Matthew Vaughan. Oh, that, that, that Tim Burton film, though, like, mm. of the Batman, it really, like, I don't know, it really set the ground for, like, Gotham City. Don't like you know? it. Because Batman, mm. he brings in all these, like, wacky sort of ideas, you know? Like, in the Tim Burton film, when the penguin's in his lair, and he's just turned up in his, like, duck boat thing. Yeah. And they're all dressed up as, like, <laughs> clowns and stuff. <laughs> yeah. And he shoots the fat guy, and he just falls in the water, and the penguins eat him. Yeah. yeah. That is, like, that's Gotham. The peng- and you know? the, I love that with the penguins with the rocket side of the back, just marking through a snowy exactly. Gotham. I the love the it, only thing I like... Because Tim Burton did it, did it as a gothic tale, which Batman at the time was. Mm. The only thing I like in Batman, the first one, mm. is uh, the art museum scene. Yeah, I love that whole scene. The only mm. thing I like in the second one is uh, the acting from... Oh my god, I forgot his name. Throw some names at me from that film. Well, it's not Michael Keaton, I assume. Christopher Walken? No. Yes, Christopher yeah. Walken. It was per- Matt Shrek, yeah. perfect in that film. I loved it. Christopher Walken's perfect, I don't think he does. Let's be fair, it's Christopher Walken. Even in Hairspray when he dances and sings, he's perfect. Because <laughs> it's Christopher Walken. Yeah. Yeah, right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you like a good musical, don't you, Dave? Yeah, I'm a fan of a good musical. A bit of high school musical you like, don't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's yeah. an Efron fan. And, uh, I, and I'm not sending in my subscribers here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not against, I'm not against that, Efron. Have you seen um, Me and Orson Welles? No. That's a pretty good film. He can stand up. Admittedly, it's about Orson Welles during the theatre, but he's pretty, pretty good in it. Anyway, <laughs> sorry, for we're going on a tangent. Yeah. Right, um, where are we moving to now? Let's move, I think, let's I think you can say with those old Batman films, they're like the old like Spider-Man Hulk films are to what the new revamped versions are now. Oh, I don't know. I mean, I think people still, people still everyone, love the Burton ones. That's what I'm saying. Everyone who doesn't know, like people who do know the comics and don't know the comics, they love those films. They're like, oh, they're really good. And people yeah. say that about the Spider-Man films. Mm. They go, oh, I really love them. And then they see the new one and think, oh, I don't like it as much as the other three. Oh, a lot man. of people might say that about the Batman one because they, yeah. I mean, I mean, they haven't read the comics, they don't get yeah. it. I mean, Schumacher's um, Batman Forever and Batman Robin. Yeah, yeah, still less, <laughs> less than about those, the better. Um, I mean, Forever, Forever's got some good parts in it, but Batman, <laughs> but Batman and Robin is just a commercial for toys. Really? <laughs> Batman, does Tommy Lee Jones know that Two-Face isn't the Joker? Yeah. 
He was just playing and, the Joker. And, and Jim Carrey, and Jim Carrey just being Jim Carrey. Yeah, but, oh, yeah. Jim Carrey was Jim Carrey. And, but they, but, they but it was script. Don't just like be yeah, you. Exactly. <laughs> but, and, but when you're, when you're a kid, you love it because it's yeah. just the one perfect fun. part in the whole film. Jim Carrey's acting before he was the Riddler. When he was this weird, like, uh, stalker yeah. guy of Bruce Wayne. That was yeah. perfect. Yeah, I'll give that. His acting was actually really good in that. Yeah, I was surprised. He can do some good serious but roles. And don't trim about... Trim and Show. I love Trim and Show. I love the Trim and Show. Yeah. yeah. That was a great film. Peter Turn Wim, the Grimm. Sunshine of a Spot that's Mine. Everyone said it was good. And I just bought it because I took everyone's recommendation. <laughs> and I couldn't have been more bored in my life. <laughs> no. But, no, Trim and Show's Trim and Show's brilliant. I love it. Yeah, so then films... Uh, let's talk about that, Joe. You're the DC guy. Yeah, I'm just... Batman. I'm saying Batman that, those films, they when you think of Batman, yeah, you think of you think of this new Dark Knight trilogy, mm. but you also think of these old films, you know, these jokey, you know, ah, Batman and Robin, oh, neon lights everywhere, you know, <laughs> but you know, it's rememberable. Neon lights on the machine guns. Yeah. And the what about um, <laughs> the Mr. Freeze? Oh, please, <laughs> Ar- Arnie, what are you doing? Um, More bad puns. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I liked it. I thought it was. Cool. Ah, I did it. I did it. I'd like to, to apologise to our viewers. <laughs> George has just been fired from. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just buy his Batman and Robin with a passion. Um, what about um, Superman? Let's go Superman. Oh Superman. yeah, let's go Ooh. Superman. Right, like, original from, from like nineteen seventies. Richard like Donner. Superman. Superman. As a DC fan, I'm not a fan of Superman. What the character or how he's portrayed in like films or cartoons? Got me. He's a bit OP, isn't he? Both. Yeah. Both character and how he's portrayed. Okay. In films. In I, the love the I love the character. I love the character. Hate the films. You don't like one. There's and, not been you don't like one, one or two. There's not been one good Superman. Film. Superman two. Eyes. Superman yeah. one or two are brilliant. Like the hair, obviously for that time. But they. But Richard. Obviously Superman two. I'm gonna take this S of my chest and throw uh, it over here. Yeah. That's why. <laughs> when did I learn that? That's power? why if you let Who me. Knows? That's why if you let me finish. Who knows? Richard Donner's <laughs> version Richard of Donner's Superman was more. Thank you. Before he was taken off the project, was, was more bearable. If he was allowed to do what he wanted to do, Superman one and two would have been an overarching sort of. You put them together, it'd be one magnificent sort of Americana epic. That's what he wanted. But sort of a great sort of American story. It was written by uh, was Maria Puzo, who wrote the Godfather book. Oh, I'm gonna go to the Fortress of Solitude and give up my superhero powers. That's you know. cool. Oh, that's but cool. It's in the middle of this icy place. How are we gonna get back? I've got no superpowers anymore. Oh, <laughs> good job I brought this coat with me. He has a he has a Humvee. That this one thin coat. He has a Humvee. City. He has a Humvee. He doesn't have a Humvee. He has a Humvee in the he Fortress of Solitude. He does not. Have a Humvee I, I put it to you. There is a Humvee in the Fortress of Solitude. You think about it. If he was really smart, he would have made himself a whole underground tunnel system full of central heating. Maybe a couple of TVs. Maybe he did. Maybe he did. Maybe he did. There's a bed there. There's a dining table there. You don't know, Tommy. Have you been there? No. No, I, I don't agree. I mean, George, you've said it before. Um, Superman can't be done on a TV budget. No, Smallville. No, I, I loved Smallville. I didn't. I, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. The first three or four it's seasons. It's creeped out everywhere. Yeah. 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 Bullshit. Yeah. 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 Please. Yeah. please. That was us. But I think as it got on, I, I kind of liked uh, it. I watched all ten seasons. And this, I believe that Superman can't be done until now. Right. <laughs> Okay, on a let's go through. Super, Superman one, Superman one was the most bearable of them all. Could it was more of a character thing? It was like an origin story Still that took the whole like movie. It. it was a nice sort of thing. Superman two, Neil before Zod, didn't like it. <laughs> That's the only good. Neil thing. before Superman Zod, that is literally three. Neil before Zod. I'll keep Superman doing this. Superman three, Superman three with Richard Pryor. Okay. Yeah. I love Richard now, Pryor. Don't get me wrong. Richard now, Pryor and Jim Wilder. Wait for it. Guys. Wait for it. <laughs> Superman four, <laughs> a quest for world peace. Oh. Man, when he goes into Congress, it's like, I will with the world of nuclear weapons, and they cheer. And you've got the Saudi Arabian guys going, yes, take away our arms. It's like, no, <laughs> you wouldn't do that. You'd be like, no, loads of man, we're going to fire them at you. That film, oh look, one of Superman's hair, hair's holding up a ton, cuts you a pair of scissors. Yeah. What? Is that, and the fact that every single <laughs> flying shot is exactly the same, they just put it in the background, like, yes. oh yeah. my goodness and, me. And what was that with Nuclear Man? Who was voiced by Gene Hackman as well? So you have Gene Hackman's Lex Luthor and Gene Hackman doing the voice of Nuclear Man. That film is fun. Yeah, that's just budget problems, that is. Yeah, oh, yeah. Because yeah. they, they're, they're, they're fine. Because um, Superman 4, their um, finances Chris backed out. Like that. I'm not so, surprised. I was seeing the script. They went bankrupt. Bank- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but let's right. not forget that Superman is the superhero. He is the poster boy, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, when you think of superheroes. Superman and Batman. Yeah. Alright. Again, two, D- two yeah. DC characters. I don't see anyone. It should, it should, be, no, it should be noted when, when, two DC. When people say something, they don't go, oh, that guy, he's my Superman. They don't go, oh, that man, he's my Ben Grimm. 
Don't. He's my Superman. He's like the one most people who don't know it think of. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Superman full of problems. The Superman and Batman are iconic. Let's go. I know where you're going with this. I was going to say Superman Returns. Wow. Which I Jesus. absolutely.